Experimental design. Let me start with a graphic to illustrate what we want to do when we evaluate a program. Any program should have a target population. The basic question that an evaluation answer is, what is the average impact of a program on that specific population? One of the properties of a good impact evaluation is its external validity. This is about the generalizability of the evaluation results. We want to select a representative sample of the target population to evaluate the program. In the book, they call it evaluation sample. Most of the time, I say experimental sample. We evaluate the program impact using only the experimental sample. But if this small group where we evaluate has the same characteristics as the target population, we can extrapolate our conclusions from here to here. Now we understand why do we need the experimental sample to be a compact version of the population. We want it to mirror the observed characteristics, but also the unobserved characteristics. This sounds like a difficult task, but all we need to do is to randomly select the experimental sample, and that subgroup will be representative of the population. A quick precision, in impact evaluation and in economics in general, when we say randomly, we refer to a very precise concept. And it is actually the opposite to the word random that we use in daily life. The Oxford English Dictionary defines random as without method or conscious choice. Well, when I say randomly, I mean exactly the opposite. You need to follow a sequence of deliberate actions and steps to obtain a random sample or a random assignment. This is what this chapter is all about, how to do a randomized control trial. And there is a clear procedure that you need to respect if you want to say that you are doing a randomized evaluation. If you didn't do anything systematic to choose the individuals that participate to your evaluation, just people enroll into your program and that's what happened, then your evaluation is not random at all. The second property of a good impact evaluation is the internal validity. And here is where the randomized experiment comes into play, because they are the best way to ensure internal validity. Once we have our experimental sample, the following step is to split it into two statistically identical groups, treatment and control. How do we select the individuals on each group? The best way it ever invented to do this is randomly. When you decide to evaluate a program, the first question that should come to your mind is can I do a randomized control trial? They are the gold standard of program evaluation, and there is no other technique that can do better. Under certain conditions, some other techniques can be as good as randomized evaluation, but not better. Provided that there are not ethical issues with randomized experiment, it should always be your first choice for evaluating a program. Speaking about ethical issues, I would like to highlight that when we randomly assign participants to a program, every candidate has the same probability of participating. Therefore, randomizing is a fair decision rule. 